Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be show how to make this animation with using Duik Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first we want to select these layer glasses and eyebrow, mouth and MS, nose, eyes and let's link to here. To select here, go to solo and select pen behind icon, move to anchor point down and let's unsolo, move to here anchor point and let's press L, chain rotation okay that's good so click station tool and select this heat layer let's link to body okay so let's select this body go to solo select this anchor point move to down and click station tool unsolo and select this hand one layer go to solo okay so let's go to add puppet let's add one here and one here and here okay click tool and go to window open duik angela here okay so let's click this icon and we can see your add pins and select hand one also go to fx control don't forget to select this puppet and go to click add pins Okay, so we have three pins and let's make links. Select this puppet pin 3, link to puppet pin 2, select puppet pin 2, link to puppet pin 1. And select puppet pin 1, link to body. Okay, so select these three puppets and go to click auto rig. Okay, nice. We have new controller. Select controller, let's see. Okay, very nice. And let's unsolo these controllers. Bones and hand one. Again, select controller. Okay, we can make animation like this. Very good. So, in this time, select this hand two layer. Go to solo. And again, go to click puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here, and one here, and here. Click station tool, and go to click add pins. Okay, select this pin 3, link to pin 2, select pin 2, link to pin 1. And select pin 1, link to body. Okay, so select these puppet pins. And go to click auto rig. So we have again new controller. Select this and let's see. Okay, very nice. And unsolo. Unsolo other layers. Let's see how it works. Nice, very good. So let's change name. Hand right. And this is controller. Hand left. Okay, so in this time, select these puppet pins and hand two other puppets hand one click this icon and go to click this icon for hide all layers okay so select this body press air let's see okay rigging is down right now we can make animation and select this hand left layer go to here press p and make new passing q frame move to down like this and let's go to 10 frames. I will use hold shift, press page down for shortcut. And let me show other way. Click time duration. Write plus 10. For go to 10 frames, click OK. And let's move the up hand like this. Go to 10 frames again. Move it down for click this circle. And go to 10 frames. Move to up. Again, go to 10 frames. Move to down and go to some two frames here. Go to here, make new passing two frame and go to again 10 two frames. Move to back hand. So select two frames, make easy or click F9. Let's animation. Okay, so and let's go to here and go to graph editor, zoom in graph 
Select these graphs, move to left and this move to right for smooth animation. Let's see. Okay, and select this keyframe, move to right. Okay, let's back to keyframes and let's see here. Okay, so select these three keyframes. Right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Nice, very good. So in this time, go to back and select this body and press air open rotation, make rotation Q frame, go to here, chain rotation like this. Okay, and go to some Q frames, make new rotation again. Go to again 10 Q frames or some Q frames, chain rotation like this. Okay, and go to here, change to back. Okay, so select two frames, make easy. Let's see. Nice. Select these last three two frames, hold Alt, move right for slow animation. Okay, not bad. Go to here and let's hold Shift, press P, make new passing two frame. This is for bones. Go to middle and move it down. Go to next two frame, select first two frame, copy pass. And select two frames, make easy. Select these two frames, copy again, go to here, Control V, and hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, select this rotation, move to right, and this three passing two frames, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, this is very dynamic animation for character. I like it. So, select this layer hit and go to here. Let's press R, make rotation two frame, chain rotation like this. And go to here, chain rotation for look character here. And go to here, make new rotation again. And change rotation. Again, go to back and change to back. So, select rotation two frames, make easy. Nice. And let's go to back, select these eyes, and press S, click this icon, and make scale two frame, go to three two frames, one to three, change scale five, go to three two frames again, one to three, change 100%. Select two frames, make easy. Okay, select two frames, copy, and go to here, control V for paste. Okay, not bad. So select this work area, press N, and right now select this other hand layer, and select this hand right controller, press P, and make new passing two frame, move to back, and go to here, let's move to up like this, select two frames, make easy, okay, and go to some two frames here, move to down this random two frames. And let's go to here, make new passing two frame. Go to again some two frames. Move to up. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So select this red layer and move to right. Press T, change opacity zero. Make opacity two frame and go to three two frames one to three. Change opacity one hundred and make two frames easy. And let's see. Okay, right now let's move to left this layer and move to here. Select this red layer. Move to behind all these character elements. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's move to right. Nice, I like it.
So in this time, let's select this body layer and make new rotation. Go to 10 Q frames, chain rotation zero. And select these three parts in Q frames, copy and control V. And hold Alt, move to right. Okay, let's select Q frames, move to right. And let's see the timing. Okay, so select these last three Q frames, move to left. Okay, and this Q frame move to left. Okay, select Q frames, move to left like this. Okay, nice. And select these body Q frames, move to here. Okay, and select this head layer. Make new rotation. Go to some Q frames, chain rotation like this. And go to here, chain to look down. Okay, very nice. So for animate background elements let's select this layer leaf and go to fx presses search effect wave warp select this wave warp let's use for leaf layer and change wave high and wave width let's go to solo change wave direction 25 Okay, let's change a little bit like this for slowly wave. Okay, so let's unsolo and change this speed 0 that 5. Not bad. And select this wave up. Let's copy and select other wave layers. Control V and this lift to Control V. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.